I'm not going to tell you that I'm fist pumping, screaming, thrilled, jumping up for joy because of that W. But I will say this. We won the baseball game. We won the baseball game. Late in this ballgame, both teams had chances. Both teams had opportunities. Both teams had men in scoring position late. Who was going to step up? Who was going to make the play? Who was going to have the big time hit? And it was Reese Hoskins in the 11th. But let's talk about how this game played out in its entirety. It was tough offensively for the Phillies. There's no denying that. And Andrew Knapp is out there hitting 156. Nick Williams had to come in for Gene Segura after he looked a little beat up there with the... Ankle injury, was it? The heel injury. It's the heel injury. So Nick Williams had to come in. He's hitting 169, and he had the game on the line at one point and couldn't get it done. Shocker there. Brad Miller's getting zero hits. I mean, that's the type of lineup we went out with today. But I'm not going to make an excuse because when our big dogs are in as well, we have really bad offensive nights too. So I'm just throwing it out there, though. It's even worse when guys like Andrew Knapp, Brad Miller, and, and Nick Williams have to play a lot of time. But regardless, listen, Drew Smiley started the baseball game today. And in the first inning, he allows a run. So instantly, I'm sitting there pissed off and saying, come on, this is trash. Why can't we find someone who can pitch? He shut me up. He shut me up because he goes six innings. He struck out eight. He looked good. Like, he, he looked good. I'm not going to say because of one start that this is him but I, I'm intrigued at a Drew Smiley. After the first inning, I did not expect him to have that type of outing. I did not expect him to strike out as many batters as he did. Location, off speed. I got to give it to him. I got to give it to him. I'm, I'm very proud of him. I'm proud of him to step in. He knows it's a, a hostile environment from a fan base's perspective right now with the Phillies. He knows we are so crazy freaking out about our fourth, fifth starter. And he stepped into that and had a great game. Had a fantastic game. And I'm intrigued with him moving forward. Vin Velasquez can't do that. Nick Pavetta can't do that. Zach Eflin can't do that. Now let's just see how long and how consistent he can be. But good start for Drew Smiley. In the fourth Harper walks. He gets moved over to the second base. Now there's a rain delay. Another game where there's just a, a random rain delay once the Phillies are ready to rock and roll. Now this one wasn't as random as the other game because there was no rain going on whatsoever in the in the first rain delay in this series. But for this game, it started to come down. Okay, I understood it. But Cesar comes out from the rain delay and bang, he brings home Harper. Now Harper's first at bat, this hustle double, Got me pumped up. Joe Stop. I was literally freaking out. I mentioned that this win as a whole didn't get me to do that. But that individual play by Bryce Harper in the first inning, I was losing my mind. Yeah! Yeah! Loving it. Loving it. Loving the slide. I loved it all. I loved it all. And in that moment, though, in the fourth... We tied the game up 1-1 thanks to a Bryce Harper walk who gets moved over and Cesar Hernandez ends up driving him in to tie the ball game. From there, you know, it, it was kind of quiet. It was a slow game. There wasn't much offense for either teams and just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth of, of boring baseball, if you will, until the ninth. Hector Neris in, in the ninth inning. He hit two batters and walked one. And we still didn't lose the baseball game? How the hell did we not lose that baseball game? With Hector Neris in that type of situation. It was absurd. He starts it off by rocking Marte. Nuts. They intentionally walked Dick, uh, Dickerson. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe we escaped that inning. But oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. We're not done. In the top of the 10th, Roman Quinn doubles. I don't think the guy has a hit all year. He does, but he never hits. He doubles. And at the time, I'm, I'm freaking out because I thought he could have got the third and that maybe could have been the difference maker. Because he starts out on second. He gets moved to third. 
He's on third with two outs, and because of Gene Segura's injury, Nick Williams is up the bat in a clutch moment, in a big-time situation to win your club the ball game, and he grounds out to second base. Shocker. I'm stunned. I had no clue that was coming. Can't you tell? Mind blown. Come on, of course. Of course in that moment when Gene Segura, a way more professional hitter, who would have been up to bat to solidify a W for the squad. And keep in mind, in this moment, I don't know that we're going to finish the game off with a victory. I'm putting my hands over my face, making noises. My dog's looking at me like I'm crazy. I am crazy. So now they escape. We escaped in the bottom of the ninth. They escaped in the top of the 10th. On to the bottom of the 10th. A leadoff double for Frazier off Ranger Suarez. They sack Bunt. He moves over to third with one out. We get out of the jam. Ranger Suarez works out of the jam. We escape again. Ranger Suarez in a tough situation shows some cahoots. He finds a way to mentally get out of there. He finds a way to battle adversity and keep this baseball team alive. And in the top of the 11th, Reese Hoskins finds a way to go yard. And I just called him out. I literally just called out Reese Hoskins and said, when are you going to hit a homer? When are you going to get back to your game? Well, his last two at-bats, one was a single up the middle, and then he had the dinger. So he responded, and that was big. And Ranger Suarez gets the nod to go back out in the 11th. He starts the inning off, bang, ground out to Mike Alfranco, makes a good play. And then from there, he shuts the door, essentially. He allowed one hit in there, but he shut the door, essentially. So good for Ranger Suarez to be able to come out and, and execute down the stretch there, even though it got somewhat scary, figured it out. As for the bullpen, Nicasio came in in the 7th, did well. Adam Morgan came in in the 8th, did well. And speaking of Nicasio, by the way, he had this outstanding play on a dribbler where he's throwing off of his back foot, guns him out at first. Very athletic play. But he did well, Adam Morgan did well, and Ranger Suarez did well. I wouldn't say Hector Neris did a good job. So for all that smack talking to the Dodgers, I don't know if I'm going to give him too much credit when he bounces back the next game with that. When he comes out the next possible outing and gives us that so you know Hector Neris I believe is going with that fall he he is hitting the the fall even though he got out we're starting to see a decline and that's what it is so Scott Kingery went 0 for 4 today with a walk Nick Williams 0 for 3 Andrew Knapp stinks JT Real Muto got a chance to pinch hit in this game and make that now five strikeouts in a row he struck out so that's something that needs to really pick up in particular, Reese Hoskins and JT Real Muto, you know, they, they have a little bit more inside of them. I know they do. We've seen it throughout their careers. They have more inside of them. It would be very big for them to start producing at that rate. And maybe this is it for Reese. Maybe this moment is big for Reese. We know he's a streaky hitter. That's what he is. We know he is. But maybe that home run, that hit before that, maybe that'll spark him. Maybe that'll get him going. Because he needs to find it. He does. It's a reason why this offense has been struggling as a whole. Each team finishes with six hits, but the Phillies win in the 11th by a score of 2-1. to one, And that's what really matters. Wasn't, wasn't pretty. Definitely was ugly. But I'll take it. I'll take it. We win a series. We win a series. It, it's not a game where it showed me something and I'm happy and I think we're turning the page. It's not that. Like, if we were to go out there and destroy them 11-1, it's like, okay, we're, we're starting to roll. We're starting to move forward. We know we split with the Dodgers. We had a couple good wins. Now we win this series. Like, this win doesn't move me up a notch because of how this game played out. To me, it almost felt like, you know, b both teams just couldn't execute and eventually... <laughs> one did. Like, both teams were so horrendous today offensively that someone had to win eventually, and it ended up being the Phillies. That's what it seemed like, really. 
Like I just I don't know where this team is. They they keep sucking me in. Really? They keep sucking me in and then then it happens. They keep sucking me in and then it happens again. Like we beat the Mets in four games. I was pumped. I thought we turned the page. We didn't. We beat the Do- well, we didn't beat the Dodgers in a series, but we had two really good wins in that series. We come out in game one of this series, we take it, and I thought we turned the page. So we respond with a loss, and then today was like a eh kind of win. So now I, I just don't know where we are again. I don't. And are the Detroit Tigers a test? Not really, but they better come up and play. They better show me something against this Tigers squad. They're atrocious. So don't overlook them. Don't overthink them for the opponent after them. Take care of business. Go out there and win me baseball games. Or I'm going to freak out. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.